Wait, what? He's on the asteroid. He can't take an action. Can he? Well, I believe you can because Dauntless isn't an action. No, it is an act. Or, or I'm sorry, it's not. But you're still taking an action. But it's because. Let me read the text. <laughs> Yeah, it immediately, you immediately perform the action. Oh, fuck. Now I gotta read what the hell the asteroid mm -hmm. says. Because, yeah, all it says is when you land on the asteroid, you skip your perform action step, is what it reads. So, right. yeah, Dauntless doesn't occur during that. Well, it takes the hit. Yeah. Tex really needed that. Or does he have a lock on him? I think he does. Well, that's big. I'm gonna go for the kill shot here with. The, I'm kind of surprised he wouldn't focus there just to try to ensure they could finish off Chirino. At range one, I feel like that would probably do it with Predator. Mm -hmm. I like that move with his Vader. He's he's blocked now. He blocked the other Vader. But did you really? Ooh, who's Vader gonna hit here? But I would have focused instead of evading there if I was Morgan. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because yeah. I think if you focus, you can probably just kill Chirino. <laughs> This is an excellent cinematic finish, I have to say. They, yeah. they all come blashing into each other. Yeah, Tex, Tex needed a one left bank there. He would have had the shot. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. Oh, he hit Oiken. Yeah, I think this is it. Oh. Now yeah. Morgan's Vader can probably kill Chirino, and then Oiken will just ram Vader next turn. Oh, it's a double ram. Yep. Yeah, I think this is it. Double crit. Yep. What's it going to be? Did we see it? Mm. Our turn's red. Hmm. Well, yeah, at least he's not dead. Yeah, he gets a return shot at Vader. Like I was saying, that's what I'm, I guess again, I was surprised he didn't focus, because if he focus, that's it for Chirino, but now he's going to eat it coming back. Mm -hmm. He's got the evade, so probably won't, but good chance of taking a crit. And Chirino's got the target lock, too. Yeah, this could leave a mark. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
pretty good. No, you gotta roll the blank. Yeah. Oh, it sucks. That's still pretty good. And the crit could kill him, but. Okay, one crit. Wow. You know, eh, I don't know. If he, if that reroll had been a hit, and then if he had banked Vader in, that might have might have made it interesting. That's probably it now, but... Well, because Tyranno's getting away, but then Oiking can just ram Vader for the kill, and yeah, pretty much finish off Tyranno. How crazy. What turn are we on, you think, Sozin? Like 13, 14? Days? Yeah. He did not burn the adrenaline rush the whole time. Yeah. This is why I'm not a big fan of those, you know, just one shot upgrades. Yeah. For, for the ones that always kick in, like, you know, the fire control system being the. Yeah, I like. I think it's decent on like Hal Runner because you know Hal Runner is gonna get targeted early, so after that initial joust, you can burn it to maybe have her take a focus for some extra survivability. But if it's if it's something like Vader, it's gonna be around for a while. Yeah, I think I'd rather just have Predator. Yeah, I'm pretty firmly convinced that uh, our control system is underpriced. <laughs> it's just so good. It's amazing. Especially in the end game. It's like yeah. it's a permanent target lock. Yeah, end game it does work. It really does. All right, so the Admiral is clear. Where's Vader going? Yeah, I don't know. Probably just... Oh, look at that. It looks like Morgan did a green just to, for Dauntless, I'd imagine. He's getting a lot of good love out of Oikin. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, he is. Now he's going to boost off. Wow. And probably get the kill shot on Admiral.
Does he have any other options there? Why did he have to do the bank? They have like a four port or a five port on the uh, dial, don't they? Yeah. Why not just get out of there? I've, I don't know. I feel like he's probably got not... Chirino here anyway, so. Uh -huh. I don't see how Chirino survives this with Predator and Gunner. Yeah, that's true. Probably too late to be thinking about margin of victory. <laughs> yep. Oh, there yep. it is. That's it. Wow. Hmm. That ends... Season one of the TC Aces League. That is it. Pretty good. Yeah, so any thoughts overall, Sozin, about the league or that game we just watched? Anything at all you want to comment on? I mean, this game I thought that after the kind of opening mistake was um, just some tight flying by Morgan, you know, usual kind of very few mistakes and um, he just converted his advantage. Um, in terms of the league itself, man, it was great. Like, I, uh, there's just so many good games, so many interesting lists. Um, it was pretty cool. I mean, you came in halfway through. What, 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 what did you think? Um, I mean, the chance to play against. A Paul Heaver, I just couldn't pass it up when they asked me to join. So I was like, I, I there's no, I just can't pass that up. So just the experience alone is just uh, something amazing. Um, overall, I prefer like when I, I, I'm a bigger fan though of when we get the huge tournaments going. I feel like there's a lot more pressure. Just seeing guys really separate themselves for the field. Uh, that's why I was kind of stoked for the Galactic Cup, and I hope we can get. A huge turnout like we did with the team Covenant Open. Overall, I feel like I prefer those tournaments, but yeah, the chance to play these great players, uh, yeah, just remarkable, really. Uh, yeah, but for this game itself, I th Predator did work for Morgan. I feel like that upgrade, but yeah, real tight flying, and yeah, that first move, Tex didn't anticipate that. Free bank and then boost by Oiken, close the distance, and Morgan really took the lead there and really never gave it up. Had some better dice, but uh, yeah, just like Morgan just said, that opening salvo from Oiken was big, and yeah, really set the tone for the match. So. Yeah, it, the dice didn't really play that much of a part. You know, I'm looking at the stats now. You know, whatever, like negative two, negative two point five. Uh, nothing substantial. I think the interesting thing about the Aces League is that you get to see a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of matchups where you just show up and you're like, "Wow, this is." I mean, my list is just going to die. Yep. Um, so you 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 just see a bit more swing in terms of uh, matchup kills. Mm -hmm. But I think that we were also. You know, we were all playing around with new ideas because mm -hmm. a whole bunch of new stuff hit. We had both Scum and yep. uh, Raider, and the Raider hit. So, yeah, and was uh, yeah, I know from watching the first matches, just yeah, be privy to be able to watch what the great players want to experiment with. Uh, that was definitely real fun. Um, I remember that one horrible matchup. <laughs> was like. I think uh, Paul Heaver was running something like 3-6 with heavy laser cannon and then one other small ship. And yet Paul Heaver, or uh, Theorist, had like Echo with like push the limit, ACD, fire control system, and then like two Royal Guards. And I believe he ended up winning that 100 and nothing. <laughs> that was. <laughs> One of the true matchup nightmares. That was a fun one, but yeah. So 
Thank you all for tuning in. Good times. Good times. Great match. Uh, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. And that will end our coverage of this match. And Team Covenant Open. So good games, y'all. I will see you on the next one.